Indian artillery at the time of Kargil war had largely the Russian guns of varied caliber like 130mm medium and 122mm field guns. The Swedish 155mm Bofors and Indian 105mm light and field guns. That was the time when India relied heavily on imports of ammunition. Under the shadow of sanctions and import restrictions, India faced a huge challenge to import 155 ammunition to fight this war. However, today things have changed and come a full circle. India had fought the Kargil war with whatever it had under severe constraints. There had been no acquisition of guns for the artillery since 1987 when 410 pieces of Bofors were acquired from Sweden. The contract was embroiled in issues of corruption and alleged malpractices which prevented all efforts of modernization of artillery. This led to large voids in firepower of the Indian Army. The Kargil War actually shook the military planners to the core. The alarming state of voids resulted in evolvement of field artillery rationalization plan in 2000. As part of this plan, 155 mm caliber was made the standard gun system for Indian artillery. Artillery profile was conceived and promulgated with emphasis on minimization of the artillery. Today, India has designed and developed world-class artillery gun systems like the Afghan 155mm Sharang, advanced towed artillery gun systems commonly known as ATAGs, the Dhanush, the Pinaka guided rocket systems, the Brahmos and the Prithvi missiles. Today, India makes K9 Vajra self-propelled guns and M777 ULH, the ultra-light Hoetzers, indigenously along with the Koreans and the Americans. Today, India has an artillery that is completely network-centric, enabled with foolproof indigenous technology like the Artillery Combat Command Control System or ACCS, complemented with the Battlefield Surveillance System or the BSS. The ACCS is a major subsystem of Command, Control, Communication and Intelligence or C3I systems being fielded in the Indian Army. The role is to automate all the operational functions of artillery from core fire control center down to battery command post with gun display units at individual gun level. The BSS or the Battlefield Surveillance System is a mobile automated surveillance system capable of integrating the inputs from all battlefield surveillance devices, fusing them with other inputs and database to produce a battlefield scenario to aid the commander in correct decision making.